He used to have his own name, but Grimgor said, hey, you don't need one. Now you're my get, my deliverin' get. So now he's called Grimgor's deliverin' get. We're going to be talking about the lore behind a orc war boss in just a little while, but for now, I've got a battle to fight. Let me go find out where it's at. I could go after a town, or I could go do the battle. Well, I'm going to do the battle. I'm here to spill a little bit of blood. All right, let's go into it right now. Did I read that one already? I believe I did. Yeah, I did. Time to teleport. What am I fighting? I'm fighting a lot of dwarves led by Doran Kondum and Stromni Kondum. Are they related? Oh good, I'm killing a family. How fun. Oh yeah, we do have our little goblin agent, Big Boss Black Adda. He's a brutal and cunning goblin and is considered something of a genius when it comes to strategy among his kind. He's moved from tribe to tribe, wiggling his way into positions of influence. He's traveled all over the world for the most part, sneaking into human cities, eluding wood elves, and even heading over to the frozen wastelands up north. And he had a little goblin friend in tow as well. I ain't talking for talking sake. My time's best spent killing studies. If you want to come and kill some studies too, then come. But don't be getting in my or the immortal's way. I don't care who's on every drop. If it's your skull instead of some stupid study, I'll laugh just as hard. Come on then, let's go and scalp study beards. Yeah! Heck yeah, I'm all about that. Okay, they're on a hill. Are they going to make me go up that hill? I believe they are. They've got a lot of artillery. It's going to be a bloody one. So what can I do to counter them? First off, I'm going to move my artillery over here. Oh, wait, I can't. Right. <laughs> I would need Vanguard deployment. Well, no, actually, in the middle, it's just fine, too. All right, Goblaba is going to bring you over here. Just all of you right over here. Wave number one, led by Grimgore. You're going to be right there. You'll all be part of wave number one. Yeah, much like that. I hope you're ready. I know I am. You two will lead the charge. Wave number two. You'll be right here. Wave number three. I'm going to have you go up the left flank. That should do it. Archers, you'll go join them. And riders, I want you to come over here. That should do it. Let's go now. Move up. Yeah, I want you guys to charge in. And then group four, you can move up. Actually, forget that. I'm not going to go over there. Group four and five will move over to the left flank. We'll let Grimgore move through the middle. Oh, there they are. Okay, well, I need to use my range units to go after them. They've got a lot of flying copters, and I don't like that. Oh, you know what? We'll go kill Fergil. Yeah, Fergil. I'm coming for you. My squigs will move out. Wait, you know what? Go join them for now. I don't know what they're going to do with their copters just yet. Okay. Drops throw up. Time to throw some petrified droppings at them. I know, it's pretty nasty. There goes Grimgore. He's heading in. Going up a hill. We're going to let him charge right in. There are the copters and hello, Fergil. Are you trying to shoot me now? Is that what you're doing? You've killed one already. He does a lot of damage over 500 per shot. Jeez. Well... We're getting them. Oh, they're killing a lot of my black works. They're not my true immortals, not yet. Wait until I get them. Wait until I get them. Then we can fight and wah, right and proper. Yeah, come on over. There goes Grimgore heading right into the fight. That's why we've been trying to focus on his army skills a little bit more. He's already big, bad, and tough. We don't really need to buff him up that much. I will later on, but for now, I want to support my army. All right, Virgil, we're tearing them up. I'm going to bring my squigs over here. They'll move in from behind. That's a great idea. As for my orcs, I want all of them to move up too. Just bring them all in. Right up here. Or instead, why don't all of you move back here? That's another idea. It doesn't really matter, I suppose. I can move a few of you. Group number four. Come on up. You'll flank them. Group number five. You two move up. Artillery. I'm going to have you go after... I could have you go after their artillery. Oh no, they have an organ gun. Oh, dear Gork and Mork. That's going to be nasty. Grim Gore's killed 13. My Black Orcs are fighting too. Go into it. No, I need all of you to get over here. Come on, let's go. I don't need all of you grouped up in one location like that. It's a terrible idea. All right, go after them. Archers, I want you to go after these copters now. We're still attacking that one Master Engineer. 
Those guys are pretty talented too. But now they're gonna die. Okay, drops thrower. And hey, go after that organ gun. Oh, here comes their bombers. Unfortunately, we were all caught up in what they had going on. It was kind of hard to get away from them. Other boys get over here. Are you able to hit me? No, you're not. Good. Yeah, I want to go right after all that artillery. Let's go do that. Okay, group number four. You're going to move up right now and head straight into it. I want you to come over here. Go after all that artillery. I love that we're able to flank, man. It feels good. I keep on moving up. I know they're all bunched up. Instead, I'm going to have my artillery hit right into the middle of their formation. If we do that, we can destroy them all right now. There goes my Black Crag Butchers dealing so much damage. My archers beat their copters. Who knew that some basic archers could beat flying mechanical devices like that? Not bad. My squigs are destroying them. Heck yeah. Go after those long beards. Squigs come over here. We now have them surrounded. Yeah, I want all of you to get right behind them. Come on. Let's form up. Squigs, finish them off. Oh, the boys are here. They're back in town again. And look at that artillery just nailing right through them. My scouts again getting a close-up look at them. I believe they're all breaking now. Yeah, it's over. Thank you, artillery. Wow, my drop throw is actually getting more kills. I mean, then again, they do have armor piercing. That could be why. I've got too many orc boys. It's actually very shocking about how well my orc boy tactic or strategy has worked. It has allowed me to tactically overwhelm my foes, which has been ideal. All right, Squigs, go on. You've killed that master engineer, even better. Let's come over here, archers, come on. Yeah, go after all of them. You'll come right behind them if you can. I know that you can. Let's go do it. Squigs are now moving in right behind these dwarf warriors. Now they too are surrounded. We haven't killed their leader yet, have we? No, we have not. He's right over here. Doran Kondum. He won't be here for much longer. Are there... Yeah, okay. There's a few Slayers left. They're pretty strong. Let's go look at the battle. My green tide washed right over them. Now they're starchy and fresh and dead. Alright, archers. Where are all of you at? I know you're around here somewhere. Here you are. Yeah, let's have you two attack more copters. Attack right now. I'm gonna move you back a little bit. My rusty arrows can deal a lot of damage. 24. And they have a poison attack. Armor sundering to reduce their armor. By 30? Wow. I'm glad we have you here. They've killed 44. But now we can get them. Let's do it. Alright, go charge in. Kill the rest of them. Oh, are you actually charging down? Don't try that. You're done. We've gotten you. Don't worry. We're not worried about any friendly fire. Go, Gobbo Boneflingers. For whatever reason, our little Gobbo archer group doesn't really like him too much. I don't. I couldn't imagine why. And there's Grimgore going after their leader. Yeah. He doesn't need to run. He's just kind of power walk over there. Don't mind Grimgore. All right, he's left. Slayer two, probably. What am I looking at? That's another group. Yeah, okay. Archers, I want you to go after them. So I didn't need a lot of archers to actually beat their gyrocopters. Nice. Okay. Well, anyway, group two, form up. Group three, four, all of you just kind of form up. When they come back, we'll go get them. You two, try to target that gyrocopter. There might be some friendly fire, but again, we're orky. We don't care that much. All right, there goes my arrows. They're going to fall apart pretty soon. Take them down. All right, the battle's over. They really only got their kills whenever they were able to bomb me. Beyond that, I mean, we had full control of the map. We've got the numbers to overwhelm a great... Oh, hello. Nice work. Did you cut off his head or something? I don't know. I don't see a head, so yeah. Where'd it go? Did you eat it? Oh, look. Little legs. Adorable. 
Well, it's in the battle. We won. All is well now. We lost over 600. They lost a little bit more. Yeah, their artillery did a lot of damage. Basic dwarf warriors will not beat me anymore. We've got veterans here. Veteran mobs who've been fighting with me for quite a while now. I think a real big part of it is that we have squigs too. I mean, 294 kills. When they come in from behind, it's really hard to stop them. They're very tenacious little creatures. They will gobble you up. All right, I would like to replenish, as I often have to. A beard collector, a new trait gained. Achieved a victory over dwarfs multiple times. Now we have five more leadership whenever we fight them. Nice, more beards for my collection. I will sleep softly this night. Oh. Another quest completed. Yep, I still need to raise and sack a few locations. We can do that. Having weakened the dwarves and had a good time doing so, Grimgor now dispatches a goblin scout to locate the Chaos Warband, knowing that the remaining throng will also be drawn to it, and that the resulting battle will be another opportunity to slake his insatiable lust for war, albeit temporarily. Whilst he awaits word, he looks for other targets for his wrath. 1500 teeth. Alright, Blightwater, I'll look at you in a bit. We don't own a lot of land, but it's okay. I'm gonna have you pop on over. There we are. We'll let him heal up. Now, let's go look at what I want to build up, now that we're all finally happy. Back in my home base. 11 more turns until I can finally upgrade Black Crag. That's way too long. It's making me sad. Yeah. That's okay, I suppose. Let me pick up another boss shack. Plus four to melee defense when defending. A garrison of orc biggins. And another goblin big boss with no shaman. Not yet. Nah, we'll wait. What about Blightwater? Blightwater, do you have anything unique to help me with my recruitment? Not really. Eastern Badlands. We need Croc 8 Peaks. We're going to pick it up pretty soon. That's going to be a great location to have. Alright. Iron Hides Pad. You don't have any iron. I do have iron over at... You know what? Let's upgrade it. Forget it. Do it now. We've got a lot of money. I might as well use it. Iron Hides Pad. Upgrade that. Over here. It's the Horde. Obedience goes down. Crooked Fang Fort. What do I want you to have? Could upgrade that and get another big boss. I think I want my orc guardhouse. Though income will go down. It will add walls to the location. But we do have a pretty large garrison. I guess we don't need walls. And that feels really good to finally not need walls. I can defend. I mean walls are always good but I don't actually need them. Yeah. Upgrade that. And over here I want my totem pole. We've got to have that. And for Black Adam. I'm going to give you assassinate level 2. You're going to be on a campaign map quite a bit, trying to go after enemy agents. It's in their turn now. So orcs are led by the biggest and strongest of their kind and take control of either a mob or, if they're strong enough, even a tribe. The most powerful leaders are known as war bosses, but they can have any additional titles too to go along with it, based on either violent activities, major victories over foes, or domains they own. So you get names like Chief Headtaker, Skull Thumpa of the Stunties, Grand Ruler of the Spike Peak, and so forth. Now, they do exaggerate from time to time, but because orcs are rather dumb, they're not really the type to bluff. I mean, for them, having a lot of titles means that, hey, you have an invitation to try to beat me down. I'm pretty great. Can you show me up? Orc war bosses are pretty showy too. They want others to know how rough and tough they really are, so they tend to wear banners on their back or even display trophies all over their body like skulls or even beards. Black orc leaders are very militaristic and dour too, which we did talk about in a previous part, so they favor wearing horns on their head or just using a huge weapon in, in battle to show off. You even have a savage orc war boss and they like to adorn themselves in war paint, wearing top knots, and even having a bunch of piercings too, all over. Yep, and they'll lead troops from the front lines, or on a chariot, on a wyvern, or even a war boar. Oh, who'd you go after, Brock Halfhand? 
They came after Iron Rock. I'm going to need a garrison over there anyway. All right. Let's go look around. Because I have a lot of teeth, I could get a new army pretty soon. But I want to upgrade my current one. I want some biggins. Okay, you deliver and get. What can you get me? I want some more boar boys for sure. I'm going to take how many? One for now. Then for biggins, I want... Actually... Oh, they're not cheap at all, are they? No, they're not. Wow, 1,400 teeth per. Okay, never mind. We'll have to wait a little bit longer to get them down here. That's okay with me. I do wish we had more Orc Regiment of Renown. We are about to get our Crimson Killers and our Broken Tusk mob. Now, these are pretty darn good. They're going to be very strong for me to use in battle. Okay, Grimgore. You're not quite ready. But we're going anyway. Let's go to Dringo Rakaz. And use our underway. If I don't go now, they're going to rebuild, and I don't want that. Not me. Okay, Black Adder. Let's have you go after their agent. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, no, you definitely cannot do that. I'll have you go after Brock Barr. Right, I'm broke. <laughs> we won't be doing any of that then. Yeah, war bosses really make up the centerfold piece of any greenskin army, as only a tribe leader can call a right and proper wa. And usually they'll do so at the right time to overwhelm their foes. It's a very powerful ability to whip up your army into a frenzy to turn into a green tide of complete destruction. We've got a lot of powerful armies to fight, like those of Clan Angren. They're not quite at my borders yet. If we can, I will go after the undead. If they do come after me, I could have another army go defend up north while I'm fighting down here. I need an orc shaman. Oh yeah, in our next part, we are going to talk about orc shamans. That should be fun. Can I help you? No, I don't want that. I'll fight you if I have to. I'm not all about that diplomacy or however you cook it. All right, we're going to fast forward right through their turn right now. Look at how green the map is becoming. It's rather pretty. Green is best. Red makes you go faster. Big choppers are good. Life is simple, and I like it. Azhag. Oh, he's way up there? Cool, okay. I wonder if he's actually doing well. I mean, I hope he is. I would like to one day meet him and kill him in battle. <laughs> you don't really have a big garrison, do you? Not at all. Not big enough to fight me. If you had more units, then I would fight you in battle. But you're way too tiny. Time for me to sack. A Shrieking Blade. This blade was stolen from a tomb banshee. While she sang a haunting nursery tale to a forgotten child, now the blade sings too and shrieks when it strikes a foe. Oh, that's pretty dirty. That poor child. All right, now that we've done that, let me get a look at what I have over here. Oh, I'm actually glad we fought that battle because now I can complete my two quests at the same time. Cool. Back in we go. Time to occupy. Okay, I'm going to repair it. Then I want my goblin sawmills. If I build that here, my archers, spears, and chariots will be cheaper. And they'll be better in combat. All right. I'm going to build that right now. What else can I build here? I do want a garrison. But what I really want... Hold on, I'm going to change my mind. I want my Raiden stashes. The Badlands are... Well, let's just say they're named appropriately. Therefore, when you've got lots of loot, you need somewhere safe to stash it. Oh, I really do need that for my local armies. What a great building to have. All right, I'm not going to have any chariots right now. In the future, there can come a time when I'll pick up a chariot or two. Just not yet. What I truly do want is a troll cave or just something to get me a shaman or two. That's my garrison looking. I guess we'll find out in a turn. It should be all right. Let's go back over here. I'm going to make more teeth. And then I want a boss tent to keep the peace. How will the peace be? Will it be all right? I think I'll change it up whenever they're fully obedient. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'm now making more teeth per turn. 
All right, let's go look over here. All right, lads. I'm going to keep on going down that route. My goal is to pick up Stand Your Ground. If I get all of these over here, I mean, look at how powerful that truly is. My Orc Boys, Biggins, Savage Orcs, Orc Biggins, more boys. I mean, all of that will be much stronger. They'll take less damage. I need to pick these up. They're way too good. Then later, we'll go up here and work on his melee capabilities, but I don't really need to do that right now. He's already strong. I'll make him stronger later. I mean, yeah, look, I know that he's meant to be strong in melee combat, but he's also a leader of a really large amount of tribes. He's not a dummy. Okay. Go damage your walls. Try it out. Thank you, Black Adam. And Busher. That's pretty cool. One day I might use you in combat. Should probably bring you down, but I'm trying to level you up a little bit too. It's in their turn. I'm going to try to forge just a lot of obedience here. And then later I can change up my buildings after that. I'll make more income anyway from having a very obedient province. So it's better if I do all of this early on so that later I have more teeth to show for it. Again, spell T-E-E-F. I love saying it. It's fun. Watch me actually say it in real life, too. Look at those teeth. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen so many dwarf clans around still. Usually, the dwarves confederate so early on, you don't really get a lot of variety, but here we are. Come say hello to my... No, I'm not allying you. I'm going to kill you later. The only faction I'm really friendly with, I'm gonna go kill later. Oh heck yeah. I can't let them survive, I've got to take- Oh look at that tribe, they're growing too. What do you want? Haha! <laughs> Good, Wee's gonna kill you anyway, is that a threat? Oh, there goes some more beast man. I can't wait to fight some beasties. Some beastie boys. I'm gonna shake your hands then, not humies. Yeah. You'll be lucky to still be He's not fighting me yet. Right, I'm fighting a faction he hates, but <laughs> I don't care. Oh no, we're gonna kill some dead boys. We'll change it up a bit and go hunt them down. My next army, I don't know what I'll use. I can probably maintain another army in a little while. Now that I've got more teeth, let me go back over here. Alright, I want two more biggins. Yeah. Give me two more groups of biggins, and I feel like that will be good enough. I'm going to take this orc boys, bring them back out, recruit a new army, get some cheaper gobos into that force, and have another army pretty soon. That's how we're going to do it. Okay, you are nearly fully healed up, but we're now getting to the tough part of conquering their lands. I could avoid them all and just go after Misty Mountain. How's our garrison? Not that large. All right, fine. We'll go after Spite Peak. That's what we'll do. Come right over here. My little Wa can come down and take Misty Mountain. I do want my Misty Mountain before. Oh, no wonder they're having a tough time here. If you look at it, the dwarves can move all over. The undead cannot. They can only walk through the passes here, and it's rather violent and hard to get through. That's okay. I'll put them out of their undeath, their undead lives. I was trying, trying to think of like what to call them. I had no clue. Undeath. Alright, here are not moved. Black Ada, can you actually do it? No, you cannot. Not yet. I'm going to move you a bit. King Lund sounded a little bit like a Protoss for a brief moment. Oh, here comes the High King. He's going after Krog Drone. Oh, it might be time to get a cheap new army to rise up and go fight up there. If he comes down to Iron Rock, the High King is no joke. If he's properly leveled up, he's going to give me a really hard fight to where a garrison might not be able to hold him back. And I do not want to lose Iron Rock. I'm not worried about losing my capital. It's a very strong garrison. That'll be okay. If they try to attack it, I mean. Yeah, it does look like a lot of our orc tribes are not doing well on their own. That one savage orc tribe is doing alright. They have Varenka Hills and Barag Dawa's bag. They can't quite beat off the dwarfs of Barak Far. Phrasing, I know. Another rogue army. There's a lot of them already. Skull Takers have a wall going. Cool. 
That's what I'm talking about. Strict. That's where my get. Okay. I need 3,000 T for that. I think I do want to build it now. It'll take me three turns, but I'm going to need it. Oh, I am going to need it. I might not be able to go after the undead just yet. If I do have Grimgore go after the dwarfs, what I could do instead, I could take that new army that I want to build up and bring it down here to go fight the undead. I need Grimgore to go fight my tougher opponent, but I can have my weaker army who's trying to train up go after the undead. All right, let's go. Oh my God. Okay, that's gonna be a real tough one. I can't fight them in their hold. That wouldn't work out for me. That's way too many stunties, man. I'm just gonna have to wait it out. Not the entire time. That would take way too long, all right? They have a lot of food down there. They're ready to hold out for a long time. Okay, you go to Misty Mountain, but I think they'll probably attack me. They're like, hey, look, we outnumbered them. Why don't we go attack them? All right, pile of shiny stuff. Take that. Well, then again, I did mention wanting my walls over here. I don't quite have the money for that. I could cancel one orc biggin group. You know what? I'm going to do that. Only because I don't want some dirty stunties coming down here and cleaning things up. It's funky and dirty, just how I like it. All right, what am I going to build over here to truly benefit me at Iron Rock? Well, I do need my Black Orc Forge. My Black Orcs will be quite good at Black Crag. That's where I'm going to recruit them from. Yeah, I need 4,000 gold for it. How much money will it make me? Oh, none. That's weird. You think it'll make me at least a little bit of teeth? <laughs> okay, teeth snatches. What can we do for our fellow? All right, fine. Don't do that. We can trade for now. I'll kill all of you later. It's just a way to make some quick extra teeth. Gotta be smart. Gotta be thinking and whatnot. Okay, Black Adder, let's have you. Oh, King Lund is trying to get him. Oh, darn it. We'll go back after Barak Bar. Good work, level nine. What can I give you now? Cleanse Corruption? Nah, Scavenge, I don't want that either. Here we go. Your actions will be cheaper for me and you'll have a higher chance to accomplish them. That's what I truly want. Okay. I'm just going to wait it out and wait for them to attack me. That's going to be a very long and bloody fight. Again, if I win, great. If I don't win, I believe it. Oh, hold on. I'll get my wall to come join me. That's what I need. Having a giant or two. Well, they only have one giant, but having a giant will help out. I'm glad they can move right after I tell them to whenever I end my turn. Oh, here they come. Two dwarf throngs coming down. Or let me use my proper terminology. Two stunty throngs coming down. I don't think we would use throng. I guess we would just call it like stunty group. Stunties. A pearl. Okay, hold on. What are you doing, Brock Bar? That caught me off guard. Okay, time to fight a huge army led by Kazador Dragon Slayer. I don't like it. We're outnumbered heavily. And they have a Thane. It looks like my little wall will not be able to join me. I could pull back and then besiege him again, but I'm no Humi. I'm going to stay here and fight. I'm no Gabo. Time for the Battle of Spite Peak. Again, fighting Kaisador Dragon Slayer. I thought he was going to kill right over. I mean, at the very beginning of our part, they were completely done for. I'm actually proud of them. Good for them. But I've got some rough and tough boys. Oh no, they're right behind me too? You're kidding. Oh boy, that's not good for me. Well. Time for some scrapping. Come on, Grimgore. You and your Black Crag Butchers will get in there. Let's just make a really long line and have everyone charge in. That'll be the beginning of my attack. All of my mounted units will be on my right and left flanks. Get ready to go attack. That'll do it. No, hold on. You're not meant to be on the flank. You're meant to be in the middle. Yeah. 
Now I want four of you to wait back here to kind of guard my artillery. You'll need to do that. All right. And then I want three of you to move over here to help me out if I need to flank them further. Archers, you'll be over here on my left flank. And I believe we're now ready. Just move up. Grimgore, you too. Doesn't even matter. Just get everyone in there. That's what you get for coming right at me. You thought you could stage a two-pronged attack and just catch me like that. I mean, you did catch me like that, but yeah, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> we're orcs. We're not very good at insults. Let's come over here. Let's go. Blood Oves, come on. Come join me. Squigs, come over here. We're about to go after every Thunderer, everything they have. It's all about to go away. Shoot them up. Oh, they're throwing satchels at me, but we're right in the middle of it. Let's get it done now. Here comes my squigs right now. It's a matter if you shoot them. They're going to keep on attacking. I'm glad they're here. Okay, artillery. They're not quite in range yet, are they? No, they're not. Oh, they're able to hit me, though. All right, fine. You know what? You four can move back. You can still guard. I just need you to move back right now. Blood Oves, I want you to move in. Come right in. Other orcs move in. I need all of you to move in, actually. Hold on. Can I get all of you to squeeze in? Let's try that out. Just run in. I'll direct you later. Squigs, where are you at? There's 98 of you here. Go after these quarrelers. Kill them all. My butchers have killed 39 so far. Pretty good amount. All right, get into it, boys. Get right into it. We'll go after their range units. We'll get after everything. Oh, here's a few hammers, too. Let's go get them. Okay, now my artillery is beginning to hit their units. Oh, Casador, you can't do it, can you? Giving up already. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's go after more of their quarrelers. We'll keep on pushing into them. Yeah, finish off their... Oh, you know what? Charge in over here after you break those quarrelers. That's a really good idea. They got me thinking. All right, Blood Oves, I want you to move back. You're way too bunched up. It's a terrible thing for me. I still got plenty of boys back here. Man, our squigs are so good. They're being hit pretty hard. Let's get them into the fight. Blood Oves, again, I just want you to move out. Oh, that artillery hit you really hard. No wonder you took a big thumping. All right, Grimcore's going to keep on pushing into it. I still have orcs back here defending. They're still heading towards me. Can I hit any of their artillery? That's what I want to know. Can I hit that? I would like to hit that. Nope, we don't have the range for it. Understandable. I just really want to hit their range units. All right, let me get a look at it real quick. How's it going? Are we doing all right? I think we're doing all right. Grimgore's still in the middle of it. I don't know where that Thane is at. He's around here. I'll look for him later. Let's just get into it. All right, Squigs. Let's have you move back. I think you're done fighting them over there. Just come over here and help me out. I know there's a lot of you left. They're still moving up. That's a pretty big army. They're going to deal a lot of damage to me. I really want my Blood Oves to move out. We'll have them go after their artillery later. Just go move out for now. It's a long-term investment, I'm sure. Oh, crap. Here they come. All right, you three. Come over here. We're still not done fighting, though. That is not a good sign. I thought we would be done by now. I thought we had the opportunity to get after them, but no, we're not done. Okay, Squig Hoppers, I'm going to get you to move out. Boys, you're going to charge in. Go into it. You don't have a choice but to do that. Get out of here. Come on. All right, Grimgore, I'm going to need you to come over here then. Come on, let's go. You can keep our boys together as we go out to fight. All right, archers. They did it over there. Great work. Why don't you attack these miners? Go kill the miners. Other orcs move right behind them. I've got all my mobs here ready to keep on fighting. All right, squigs, come on down. Blood Oves, keep on moving out. If you try to go after their quarters now, they're just going to shoot you up as you charge at them. You're not that fast. Come on, Grimgore. Oh, no, they're going after my artillery directly. I don't want that. Come over here. There's 128 of you. Go handle them. I'm going to lose a lot of boys today, but it happens, man. It happens. Let me go finish off their artillery. That Grudger is pretty nasty. Which one's killed more? The Grudger by far. 
Black Crag Butches. I'm going to move them in too. Let's go. Whatever that I, I can really bring back, I've got to bring back now. Archers come over here. Let's go after some Dwarf Warriors. We've killed a lot of them, but we're not done yet. Let's go bring in some more Orc Boys. All that artillery hit hard. We finally made it to their lines. Squigs, get over here too. Go after those Quarrelers. There's not a lot of you left. I don't care. All right, Gits, you're staying. Go after, instead, the Quarrelers. I want them gone. Grimgore is back into the fight. We're not done here yet, are we? No, we're not. Charge in. Get them. There's a lot of bodies around here. Army number one is nearly completely gone. They're nearly all wiped out. My mobs are now having to turn their attention to the other, the main dwarf army. My blood elves are getting wiped out, it looks like. There's way too many of them. Did you hit them? You did. Good work. We're just not done. All right, let's get some more boys out here. Losing too many of them. All right, butchers, get out. Goblobbers, move back. My archers can go after whatever they really want. I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Yeah, come on, take out those bolt throwers. You can do it. I don't believe in you, but maybe I do. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. No, they're going to get wiped out. How many do they have left? I mean, they actually might pull it off. They're pretty tired, right? No, they're only winded. Okay. Okay, Grimgore, I know you're in the middle of it. Let me keep on looking. We're still not done here yet, are we? Hammers have killed nearly 200. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I mean. When the dwarves have their elites in, we're in trouble. These hammers have killed nearly 200 of my boys. We're just trying to wear them down. It's pretty awful. All right, come over here to attack. Kill some long beards. They've killed a lot too. All right, I need all of you boys to get out. Come on. I'll have you join your own group. Grimboar, are you, like, stuck by a bunch of artillery? How many kills do you have? 57. Okay. It looks like my blood oves are pretty much done for. I'm going to bring in my squigs now. Yeah, they're off. Let's go after that grudge drawer. My archers will need to move in, too. I'll have to heal up after our battle. I don't think I can take their hold. All right, let's get everyone over here. Come on. We can flank them all now. Finally! Those were very heroic units that were holding me off, man. Drops throw it over 200 kills. I'm keeping that no matter what. That drops throw is so good. Squigs, go after those cordless. You got it. Don't you break on me. All right, you three, go after all the cordless who are left. Maybe you can make it. If not, eh. All right. I've lost how many? <laughs> A lot of my army. My Black Crag Butchers have killed over 200. Grimgore is now fighting Kazador. Who is very strong. Oh, great. He's got some special ability to debuff me. That's unique. All right, come over here. Go flank him. Come over here. Let's go get more of them. I have no more mounted units, right? Did I get my squigs? I believe they did. I keep on hitting their corridors. That's all that you can do. That's really it. I mean, there's not much more that we can do. We can just hit their corridors and try our best. Okay, Kazador, don't worry. You're not going to make it. Air boys, I need you to come over here and charge in. Gobbos, come over here. Actually, you know what? I'll get all of you over here to go after their quarrelers. Just go take them on. Let me go look at everything that I have left real quick. Got a few things left. My boys fight hard. Yeah, in vanilla, we would never have a battle of the scale and be this close to where we might actually lose it. If we do, so be it. I'll take care of it later. Black Crag Butches are still fighting hard. They're doing very well. Very proud of them for it. All right, boys, get into it. If I want to win, I need to go surround them all. Yeah, get over here. Go kill the Quarrelers. Come on. Got a lot more boys going after more of their units now. Yeah, do that. All right, all of these boys can move in over here. They've got a lot of dwarfs left. I'm having a pretty awful time with it. I've got to find a way to break more of them. There's Kazador. He's still hitting me pretty hard. What is that debuff that you have going on, Kazador? That makes you so strong. Ah, okay. You get rid of my armor. I got you. Are you dealing that much damage to me? I guess he is. I didn't think he would. Even if I put in a few points in my red tree, 
it would not have changed it up at all. It just really would not have. All right, let's charge in now. There may have been just a few too many dwarves here for me to scrape out a win. I usually do, but for me to have come as far as I have with my little army, it's pretty great. It's a good sign that we're tough. My black crack butchers have killed over 300. Now that is one black orc group to write home about. Not that we can write. <laughs> Not that we can do anything like that. All right. Let's go back after these portlers. They're about to break. My drop throw crew, no one's allowed to leave. Did we win? We won. We barely won. Castledor is no pushover now. I thought he was, but that's a really great debuff. All right, let's kill as many as we can before the battle's over. I wonder how many mobs we lost. I bet we lost a lot. Good work. It was savage. It was brutal. But we were cunning. And now we're chopping them up. Get those stunties. That's what I'm talking about. Nice leap, boys. Nice leap. Let's just go look at the freaking carnage here. I used to do that in Medieval 2 all the time. I would just go look at all of the bodies. And now I can finally do it again. Look at all of the bodies. We had to fight over here. That was really hard. I really thought we could take them on. Those hammerers, man. They brutalized us. They went through so many boys. And then we had to fight another army right over here. Where, as you can see, we had a very tough time. I had to make an impromptu wall. I put my black works right in the middle. As they're meant to be. And it worked out. Oh, wait. Did we get him? <gasps> we got Casador. He's not looking too hot. I didn't think we could get him, but we did. What a great shot. Iconic. <laughs> we got their king. That's going to be it for them if I manage to take their hold. Let's end their battle now. I'm pretty sure if you said this type of victory to a orc, they would be like, what's a pyric? Is that a human made of pie? Can we eat some? Artillery did well. Black Orcs, so yeah, they won today. A few units of mine won today. My Black Orcs were a huge part of it. If we didn't have them, we would not have been able to hold in that middle line, the center of my line, and we would have been done for. We had 2,500 Orcs, and we lost over 1,400, 1,100 remaining. Now we've got to go back and just going to heal up. No mob completely wiped out. Great. Time to eat, though. I love that we can eat and heal up. That Thane made it out. Darn it. He killed 37. What the heck? I think it's only a visual bug. I'm not actually level 94. <laughs> I'll have to report that bug in. Alright, let's fast forward just a little bit. Grad has its own faction? Really? Interesting. Huh. That's kind of cool. Oh, right, I do have a unit mod for Kislev, I believe, so Kislev should have some new stuff when I go find them one day. I hope I can, but Chaos might destroy them before I can get to them, unfortunately. Let's go look at it real quick. Level 15. Tunnel boss, dodgy geezer. Again, hard lads. Get back here, it's more leadership. The boss ain't ready to run, and so expects the boys to stay put, too. That's going to be nice to have. Yeah, my biggins are going to be much tougher. So are my black orcs, too. I'm just trying to buff up all of my melee and my army. 67 weapon strength. No biggins yet. A lot more of you healed up than I thought would heal up. Oh, I still can't break through. Okay. Well, I think what we'll do... If I could get you to go patch up for a bit, I could then... I could either heal up here or... I could just move back. No, I can't quite make it back anyway, so let me just kind of go over here. Yeah, that'll work. Then I want my wand to go after Spite Peak to keep him from healing. Rungni Halfhand, you'll be a lot easier to fight than other 
Dowie. The other stunty. Okay, Iron Rock, you're currently upgrading. Very good. I want my Black Orc. Then again, it could wait. We don't have Black Orcs yet. Very true. We're only tier three. I'm still trying to get up to tier four. It'll take some time. My other locations are making a lot more money, like Iron Hide's pad. We have our stash. We could use another pile of shiny stuff. I can get a troll cave. It doesn't really matter if I have it here or not, I suppose. I mean, I wouldn't be able to bring it up to tier five. I could instead opt to build it over in Black Crag. I think I will. How's our obedience? Pretty low, yeah. I'm gonna get rid of, I think, our heap of shiny stuff as much as I like having that. It'll counter a bit of that loss of obedience. And what we can do, I'll build a troll cave up there so we can get some trolls down into Grimgore's force. Okay, let me think carefully. I've got a garrison over in a few locations. The Drinker Rakaj should be fine after I finish conquering them. I can get a pile of shiny stuff here. I don't need any military buildings here. So yeah, I think I will take up our pile of shiny stuff. I've got a lot of teeth left. Let's go after more shiny stuff. And a boss pole. It'll give me more replenishment. Drink a Rakaz, build a boss shack. A status symbol, a show of the boss's rising power in a place he can ang me boots. That's a lot of obedience. 10, wow. Take that, I might even be able to destroy another building. Or that. All right, come on down. Good work, hates dwarfs, as you well should. The dwarfs cling to the mountain roots like parasites. This one will purge them. And a wall weakener. Provides another two additional wall breaches. I really need to bring them back down now to help me do that. We could use them for that roll. All right, iron rock. I'm gonna save up that spot for now. Or I could opt to build my idols. You know what, we'll do that, build that forge later. I just want to help this location grow a little bit faster. I've got my boss pole. That's going to help me really heal up. We just have to watch out for the High King. The High King's going to be on his way. Oh, very good. He actually went after Spike Peak. If he loses, okay. I just need him to go keep him busy for now. Oh, here comes the High King. I bet he's going to come down. Yep, he's coming down. I might have to bring in another army to go help me hold Iron Rock. If two armies come down, we're done for. They won't be able to pull out a win. If it was Grimgore, he could pull off a win, but any new leader? No way. Beer nothing. Grundadrak? Grundadrak, what a name. Brock Barr is growing. I really thought we had a shot, but it looks like... Oh wait, a peace treaty between the dwarves of Krogzorn and the goblins of Arachnos? Gross. Austin Mark is now fighting a Skaven tribe, or clan. Land Molder. All right, we actually have Skaven still alive. I can't believe it. What a rarity. Celestial Storm. All right, when we are back, we're gonna get a lot more done. We're gonna provide a few new names for any new agent and our new units too. In the very beginning of our next part, we'll go over their backstories. And I would like to thank all of you for watching and look forward to a new battle in a new episode tomorrow. And if you would like to check out all of my modifications that all work together just fine, I do have a link to it in my video description. And if you would like to chat with me and other people too, come join our Discord, also linked down below. And as always, until then.